And I'm going to share my screen for this. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Share screen. All righty. Okay. So, hello and welcome, everybody. This is essential oils made easy. Uh, I don't know if anyone's used essential oils before, but um, it can be oh, oh, well, it can be complicated. And tonight, we're going to show you exactly how easy and simple they are to use. But let's not confuse easy and simple with something that can't be really potent and powerful because they are simple, easy and potent and powerful. So welcome everybody. I'm so excited um, just to share a little bit about me, seems fair. My name is Carla Fay. Um, I am a mum. I've got three kitties. <laughs> I say kids, my oldest is actually 18. He just turned 18 at the end of um, last year, but he's still, he's my little man child and, um, and two daughters as well. Uh, we live on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. We moved up here at the end of 2019 before the world changed in dramatic ways. Um, and we love it. We love it up here. We love Queensland life. We love all the things. Um, I'm sure I'm preaching to the converted here because most of you are from Queensland anyway. <laughs> but please don't hate me because I did move from Victoria. I hope that doesn't come against me in some way. I know Victorians get a really bad rap, especially in the last year or two. But I promise I moved before the, the mass migration. But also my friends are in Victoria, so I don't blame them for wanting, for wanting to move out of there either. Um, I am a natural health enthusiast. I absolutely love all things natural health and well-being, but treating or um, supporting the human in a holistic sense. So I'm, I'm not about Band-Aid and fixing just a symptom. I want to know why that symptom came up in the first place. Um, we've been using natural health remedies um, oils are definitely a very big part of that in my family. Um, but we've been using that for, I don't know, nearly 10 years, I would reckon. Um, and it started with just wanting to get rid of chemicals from our, our cleaning products. And then with that, I looked at just what foods we were eating, what things we were putting on our bodies, and then oils just appeared as they do. Uh, so I'm no stranger to essential oils, actually. My mum was quite holistically minded and naturally minded. So I grew up with essential oils. Um, mum used them all the time. And to be completely honest with you, I never really had a strong connection with them other than I loved the way that they smelled. Okay, I thought they were amazing. But mum liked the aromatherapy side of them and she'd always be, you know, here's a, a, a peppermint for a headache, use that. Or here, use some clary sage for period pain. And sometimes it would help, sometimes it wouldn't. And I was just like, man, nah, I don't really know. But what I came to realise, those oils that she was using were before doTERRA even existed. Uh, so the quality of the oil is really, really um important when it comes to having consistency in the results that you get. And when I stumbled across doTERRA essential oils, the first thing I noticed when I cracked the bottle open and smelt it was how different it smelt to any other essential oil that I'd ever used before. If I smelt rosemary or lavender, it just smelt exactly like I was sticking my head in a lavender bush. Like it was so real. Um, and when I used it, every single time peppermint worked for a headache and it, it just supported my body so well. And I realized then that all oils aren't created equal and that there's something very, very special about the effectiveness and the chemistry and care that doTERRA um, put into their oils. Um, I'm also an alignment coach. So 
part of what I do is help people emotionally get in sync and, you know, clear beliefs and things like that. Um, so what I love about essential oils is how they also support us emotionally and spiritually as well to be the best humans that we can be. So I use them in my coaching as well. So before we jump into the class, I'm going to put you all on the screen here so I can see you. What I'd love for you to write down is pop in the chat box. What are your top three health concerns or health challenges? So this could be anything, anything at all. So it could be suffering from headaches. Maybe you have a lack of energy. You feel tired a lot. Maybe you have struggles sleeping. Maybe um, you have some tummy issues, some digestive issues. Perhaps it's hormonal issues. Um, maybe it's stress, just dealing with day-to-day -day stress. So pop down your top three health challenges. And while you do that, I'm just gonna skim in here. Yeah, she just arrived, awesome. Yeah, pop them in the chat. Um, and the reason I like to ask this question is because you'll see in a moment that oils are so versatile. So one single oil doesn't just have one use you'll see that oils are used in a, a, a whole heap of different ways. And what I like to do when I teach a class is really um, structure it and share information that's gonna speak to your specific needs. Cause there's no point in me banging on about how amazing lavender is for sleep. If you've got skin issues like eczema or um, psoriasis and I could share how you could use lavender for that. So I really like to make um, customize my classes for your needs. So I'm looking at um, your top three health concerns. So energy, headaches, and emotional support. We've got weight and digestion and anxiety. We would definitely be covering all of those up. Sleep, fatigue, digestion, energy, emotional support, digestion, energy, weight, and stress. Awesome. Oh, well, not awesome, but awesome because I can help you with those. So I'll get rid of that chat. All right. Oh, we've done that. So excited. <laughs> Getting ahead of myself. Um, so tonight we're going to really uh, focus it at first. We're going to look at three cool things about essential oils. So we're going to keep this class nice and simple. Um, and the first thing we're going to talk about is how safe they are. So very, very safe, very, very effective. And I don't know if you've got oils with you, as in if you've got your doTERRA oils with you, feel free to smell them as we talk about them. Um, if you've been sent, if you've been invited to this class and have samples, crack the bottles open and just smell it as we talk. It just makes the class a whole lot more meaningful. Um, so you can grab your bottle of peppermint now if you'd like. Um, what I love about essential oils is that you, you get the benefits of it without having any kind of side effects. And that's what I love about natural and holistic health support. I'll never forget the time that I went away with my grandparents. Um, we had a big, like, mum's side of the family all had a big get-together. And Nana literally had an ice cream container full of her medicines that she was taking <laughs> for the weekend. So it was this for something to do with her heart and then this other medication to counteract the high blood pressure from a side effect from the heart medication she was on and it just went on from there and I just remember thinking this is what I love about essential oils um, because for me and my family they're about proactive health care rather than reactive sick care. So so you get the benefits without all the side effects. Just let this person in. Um, they are very, very potent. So one drop of peppermint is about the equivalent to 28 cups of peppermint tea in a, in a therapeutic sense. So you don't need a lot of these. Uh, to use like a lot of drops and that's a pretty big difference that I noticed in using the doTERRA essential oils versus other brands of essential oils 
I don't need very much at all. Whereas the other ones, I was always adding extra drops to the diffuser because they'd stop smelling and all the things. You will notice when you smell and crack the bottle just how potent they are. Uh, doTERRA also have the CPTG standard, which is their quality and purity standard. And it just means that every single batch is tested um, for any kind of impurities, any kind of contaminants. And if there's something less than the doTERRA standard, it's sent, it's, it will never make it to your door. Okay, um, a little story about that. When doTERRA first started making um, rose essential oil, they were making them and it um, grows in Bulgaria. So they like to source their oils from where their, their plant thrives because that's how you're going to get the best uh, therapeutic benefits from it. Um, and when they kept testing it, they kept getting like that it was contaminated with some kind of chemicals. It wasn't the pure plant in there. And they kept going back to the farmers and they're like, what's going on? You know, what are you putting on these um, roses? And they're like, we're not doing anything where it's just organic. It's like, there's nothing being sprayed on them. And then they had to look up the hill to see if the farmers up the hill were spraying anything on their plants that might run off down the hill in the rain or anything. And they couldn't, they didn't know what was happening there either. And what it was, what actually was happening was when uh, the rose would get harvested, they would, the rose petals would be collected in diesel trucks and then they'd take them from there. And it was the fumes from the diesel trucks that were contaminating and the, they were being, it was being absorbed into the petals of the roses. So now doTERRA is just like they figured that out and they're like, okay, let's combat this. We want pure rose oil, no diesel fuel, um, you know, leaching into it. So would you believe this is so bougie, but the rose petals are now collected by horse-drawn carriage to get rid of the problem of the diesel fuel contaminating the rose. So that's just testament to how serious doTERRA take their purity and their quality standards. So if you've got peppermint there, let's talk about peppy. So this is a really great one that you can use for energizing and uplifting. So for those that suffer from tiredness, um, who struggle getting up in the morning, maybe those that get a bit of 3.30-itis where you get the bit of brain fog and it's really hard to get up and, you know, pick the kids up from school or cook dinner, this is a really good one. So even just putting a drop in your hands, rubbing your hands together and just taking some nice deep breaths in. It's so cleansing and clearing um, of the sinuses, but also the brain as well. Peppermint's also a really great one uh, for headaches. It's one of our therapeutic, uh, it's a therapeutic oil from the TGA and therapeutically tested for uh, relief of headaches as well. So just putting that on the temples, um, on the back of the neck, just making sure if you're putting it on the temples, it's in the hairline, not too close to the eyes. Um, and then it also has a very fresh and cooling effect as well. So for those of you who are in Queensland, woo, this is one that I love to carry around with me if it's hot and sticky and muggy. Um, just putting some on the back of your neck has a really beautiful cooling feeling. Um, also, those who have like hormonal stuff going on, like menopause, great relief for hot flashes. Um, so putting it on your chest, back of neck, behind the ears, nice and cool. This is also what we've used in our family when the kids have had a fever. So when their temperature gets really high, um, we just roll. Uh, or grab some coconut oil and dilute that and put it up and down their spine. And that's very cooling for their body and helps to, to cool their body temperature down. Uh, what I love about essential oils is that you can use them frequently whenever you need. Previous to having essential oils, we used to, you know, if the kids had a fever, we would do Panadol or Nurofen. And I'm sure every mum here has, you know, looked at uh, their fever starting to come back up. The child's getting really unsettled again. They really need some more 
uh, you know, fever control, um, but they're not due for another dose for another hour. And that's a terrible hour when your kids are sick. With, with oils, you can literally roll them up every 20 minutes, if you like, just to give bring comfort and relief and repeat as often as you need. So there's no overdosing essentially like that. Number two for cool things is that they're very, very effective. So they contain hundreds of different compounds that provide complex and versatile abilities to combat threats without building up resistance. So different to antibiotics where you can't have it too many times and you end up having some super strain of some virus or something like that. Um, essential oils are nature, just like we are actually nature as well. So our body actually knows what to do with it because we are part of nature. The beautiful thing, and if you've got on guard there, um, you can crack this bottle open. <sighs> My goodness, I love this so much. This is a blend um, and it's called the protective blend. And it's really good for immune support. Um, now, what I love about this is essential oils can pass the, the cell membrane. So when we think about when we're sick, <laughs> I always laugh at me doing this story because I'm really not sciencey. Like I said before, I'm an alignment coach. I'm all about the feelings and the emotions and energetically getting into alignment. When it comes to explaining science, this is not my forte. So you can laugh along with me with this, but this is Carla's explanation of science, okay? So if we have a cell that is under threat from a bacteria or a virus, we've got a cell here, um, can you see me? If Can you see me? Yeah, awesome. Um, we got a cell and that cell is covered with uh, all the bad germs, all the, all the nasties that we are making us sick, okay? When antibiotics comes in, it goes and tries and attacks all the, all the baddies, all the nasties from around that cell. And that's how antibiotics works. However, with essential oils, essential oils have a really... Um, they're very, very small. So molecular size, look at me, science, right? Um, molecular size. So it can actually penetrate the, the cell wall and really support and heal the cell from the inside out. And that's how it gets rid of all the nasty. So it makes that cell strong again, right? Um, so on guard is a really, really handy one to have all year round, but especially now when everyone's really um, focusing on making sure our immune system is strong so it can get rid of any kind of nasties that it comes in contact with. On Guard is a blend of a few different oils. So you, doTERRA have just taken all the thinking out of it for you. So it's got wild orange, clove, cinnamon, eucalyptus and rosemary, all in this one convenient blend. And we use this in lots of different ways. So we will put it on the, the bottoms of our feet if we feel like at the first sign of getting sick, like a tickly throat or a sniffly nose. Um, for a sore throat, we'll put a couple of drops of this in water and gargle it. It's really soothing. The, the clove and the cinnamon there help to provide some relief with sort of some numbing sensation. sensation. Um, you can also make up, you know, cleaning sprays because it's really great for getting rid of uh, germs, but also mould. It's got clove in it, so it's really great for mould. So I know that's really high on Queenslanders' list of things to avoid right now. So grab your On Guard, make a, a spray with maybe 20 drops of On Guard and an 80, 20 percent you know, water, 80%, 20% vinegar, and just spray that on curtains, spray it on windowsills, spray it in your bathroom for mold growth if you're worried about that. So the third cool thing about essential oils is that they're affordable. So there is so many uses, but also you don't need very much um, when it comes to what we spend in pharmaceuticals, like $6.5 trillion a year is spent in globally in healthcare. It's a lot. Um, 
and essential oils are really just pennies or cents per, per dose or, or per drop. So you really do save yourself a lot of money by using natural solutions like essential oils. Um, so while we're on that, if you've got lavender there, you can grab that one out. And we're going to chat about lavender. Um, little secret. I never loved lavender when mum had lavender. I just, it reminded me of like Nana's toilet spray or like cheap Mother's Day gifts. <laughs> um, but when I first smelled doTERRA's lavender, it, like I said before, it just made me feel like I just walked past a lavender bush. Like it's so real and it just smells so alive um, because it is 100% essential oil nothing else no synthetics in there no um nothing in there to make it go further or anything like that did anyone holly was it you that said you had a story to share about lavender was that you or was that somebody else i was talking to yeah no that was me yes so i used lavender for um soothing skin irritations and things my son actually experienced a burn on his face from um a marshmallow stick <laughs> and it was quite serious it was quite um really sore looking and started to get almost gunky and nasty and all I did was keep applying lavender on it because it's very soothing for our emotions but it's very soothing for our skin as well and i just found it was incredible for it and because he was quite upset by the experience just the smell helped to calm him down as well mm -hmm. which was really helpful so definitely keep lavender on hand in the kitchen for any types of burns or anything like that that you need to just reach for it really quickly yeah I love that you mentioned that it was helping him physically while also helping his emotions like yeah him down as well yeah that's amazing it is it's so good we use it all the time um just for so many different things sleep especially um i love it in so many different sleep blends pop it in the diffuser um it's one of the ones that i use a lot with the kids so we often have and i'll talk about this a bit later but we have um like our memory is so closely linked to smell right and so if we can create aromatic anchors so like a, a smell that reminds us of something then it can help our body sort of do like the relaxing so we'll often put lavender in the bath or have lavender diffusing at the at the evening time and the kids just start to unwind and start to relax down um it just it's that little smell cue for them that the day is ending and it's not time to get out the monopoly board you know <laughs> kids <laughs> um all right so there's three different ways that you can use essential oils and this is not true of all essential oils because and i'll explain in a tick um some you can't actually use in foods but let's talk about aromatic use first i'm gonna pull this here for a minute yes i am well done all right so aromatic use so this is any kind of way that we can smell the oil so it can simply be cracking the bottle open and smelling it from the bottle that is aromatic use you could put a drop in your hands rub your hands together and inhale that's aromatic use also putting your oils in a diffuser so doTERRA's got a beautiful petal diffuser that we have in <laughs> all the kids bedrooms as well as ours um and they're just really really great for putting like diffusing your oils so diffusing your oils can um positive positively affect or even manipulate the mood in the house so you know if someone's really um uh, let's like say during home learning when we had the kids at home and they were doing home learning I would often uh, diffuse some lemon and frankincense. Um, and what else did I do? Lemon and frankincense and peppermint. 
because those three together just helped them stay nice and alert. Peppermint's really good for staying awake and clear thinking. Lemon is really good for learning. It's a really good one to support the learning state of, especially for those that think they're not good at something or good at learning. And frankincense is really calm and grounding. So they learn from a really calm and grounded way. Um, we use aromatic uh, oils as well when the, when the kids are sick or when we're sick. So we can uh, diffuse a blend like easy air, for example, if the kids have got a cough or a cold or a blocked nose, this will help with um, decongesting the sinuses, support their airways, um, and also cleanse the air as well. So at the moment with the, the rain that we've had, um, we've got the air con on <laughs> just to try and keep everything, the air moving and cool. But we've also got oils diffusing like tea tree, peppermint and lemon just to keep everything nice and fresh even on guard because it's got the clove in it to keep any kind of mold away as well so um just some extra oils I should have shared this before so um wild orange is one of my favorites I don't actually have it here it's just behind me uh, we use this one a lot for like just bringing joy and happiness into our home um, it's nicknamed Mr. Joy Bubbles because it's so just uplifting. Everything just feels like so joyful and happy. We also love using it in cooking, but I'll explain that a little bit later. And then Easy Air. Um, this is probably not on my slide, um, but I did talk about Easy Air with coughs and colds and diffusing it at night. Um, but I actually love easy air to diffuse for sleep and I couple it with frankincense and lavender so these are three of our top 10 essential oils and I love these three together for sleep because obviously everyone knows lavender is very calming and relaxing um, frankincense is so grounding and just helps you de-stress and unwind for, for the day Easy air, though, helps us to deepen our breath. And that's what we want when we're asleep. We want to be having nice, deep breathing, clear breathing, because that's what helps oxygenate our blood, oxygenate our brain, so that when we wake up in the morning, we feel really refreshed. So there, easy air, lavender and frankincense, I often use um, in the diffuser at night time. So that's aromatic use. The, another way we use essential oils is topically. So topically just means applying the oils directly onto the skin. Um, and so you can use this on like localized areas. So say if you've got sore shoulders, like from stress or tension, you could grab your ice blue blend and grab some fractionated coconut oil and then dilute it and rub it into your shoulders. Or if you've got sore hips or sore knees or a sore back, um, it's gonna provide you a lot of relief doing it like that. But also oils work systemically. So it will take about 20 seconds for it to enter the bloodstream. And then about 20 minutes before it, it goes all over the body to wherever it is needed. It's almost like, um, the cells, going back to my science explanation again, the cells are in the body. And if there's a cell in under stress, if it's being attacked by something, it almost sends out signals to say that it's, it's, it's stressed and it needs help. It's like, help, help, help. And then the oils come in and they go to exactly the cells that are crying out for help. So even if you don't like the smell of an oil, and there are going to be oils that you perhaps don't love the smell of, um, pop them on the bottoms of your feet, put your shoes and socks on or not, and get on with your day and just allow the oils to work their magic. You don't have to put them on a certain part of your body to get um, the benefits of them. So on that, it's really important that you dilute your oils with a carrier oil. And doTERRA have got this beautiful fractionated coconut oil. And this is amazing because it's basically fractionated just means that it's had the fat taken out of it. So it's always liquid. 
even when it's a cold winter's night in Queensland, it's not going to solidify. The beautiful thing about doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil is that it has no odour. So when you couple it with the oils, it just lets the oils do the talking. You don't kind of smell part coconut, part oils. It's just the oils. The other beautiful thing is it's non-greasy and it also is the perfect um, density, I guess, to allow it to penetrate the top layers of the skin and get into the body. Some oils are too thick and heavy and they actually prevent the oils from um, reaching and getting into the bloodstream, whereas doTERRA is, is just, just perfect. So I love that. So some oils to use topically, we've got this blend, which you heard me mention before, it's called Ice Blue. And this is a blend or known as the athletic blend. Um, and it's got a blend of a whole bunch of oils. So wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, ylang ylang, halicrysum, blue tansy, German chamomile, osmanthus. So you don't need to buy all the individual oils because doTERRA have made a beautiful blend for you. So this is the one that you can use for aches and pains. Uh, so you can put it on shoulders, uh, growing pains for kids, restless leg syndrome, any kind of joint pain, arthritic pain, grab your fractionated coconut oil, dilute it and rub it into your body. Um, and then we've got another blend, which is called, well, Digest Zen. Um, it's also uh, now Zen Jest. It's exactly the same brand, um, same blend. Um, and it's got anise, peppermint, ginger, caraway, coriander, tarragon, and fennel. And this one, I'm sure it's not a surprise, but it's really great for the digestive system. So I wasn't sure who, um, someone said digestive issues. Who was that? Can anyone remember? No. Oh. Is that Susan? Is that you? Yep, I can't see everyone's face. I'm literally trying to scroll through everyone. Um, awesome. So Digest Zen or Zen Jest is really great for supporting any kind of tubby, tummy troubles. So um, like heartburn, bloating, indigestion, gastro, diarrhea, hangover, any kind of nauseousness, whatever the cause. Um, when I first learned about Digest Zen or Zen Jest, I thought it was strange that one blend of oil could do both helping you when you had gastro and like when things are just coming out, <laughs> but also when um, you're constipated. So when things just won't come out, <laughs> I'm like, how does that work? Because normally in Western medicine, we take one thing to get things moving or we take another thing to stop things, right? Um, the, this is why oils are amazing. So oils help the body come back into homeostasis. So back into balance. So if you're releasing too quickly, <laughs> then it'll bring you back. So you you more balanced. But if you're not going enough and you're getting all backed up, it'll bring you back into balance and get things moving again. So this is why I love oils. It goes straight to the reason why and helps bring back that balance to the body. So just putting it, rolling it over your tummy is a really, really great way you can also um, digest Zen or Zen Jest. You can take internally as well, as in add a couple of drops to your water. It's really beautiful in, a, in like a, a warm, warm water um, and very fresh taste. It's got ginger and, and, and fennel, all the things that help soothe and upset tummy. So whatever the reason for the nauseousness, if it's your own fault or not, um, Digest Zen is a really great blend to use to calm your tummy. Does anyone have any stories that they want to share about Digest Zen? Well, before we go on to the next one. Uh, just unmute if you do. I can't see everybody. I'm so quiet. I guess I'm always um, so surprised how quickly it works. Yeah. Yeah, 
like in within sort of five, 10 minutes, you feel so much better, so much relief in that quick amount of time. Yeah. And it's so handy just to have on you, you know, just like I've traveled to Bali and Thailand with this for if I have something dodgy from, I, I like to live on the edge. So I like to go to the street, like little vendors and stuff. You never know, it's such a risk, thrills. Um, and so, yeah, I love, I love using the blend and just having it in my bag that I can whip out whenever I need. Okay, so the third way that we can use this is for food flavoring. Now, this is where doTERRA essential oils are set apart from other essential oils. And I want to stress that the information that I'm sharing on with you guys tonight is specific to doTERRA essential oils. That's because not all oils are created equally. If you, you can go to Kmart and get a, a lemon, <laughs> it'll cost you probably three or four dollars, right? It'll say on the bottle, not for human consumption or do not ingest. Now, when an essential oil can't be ingested when it comes from a plant and that's it, supposedly, um, that's a red flag for me. You should be able to ingest an oil like lemon or any of the, um, the herbs and things. So um, doTERRAs are food grade quality. And uh, so they can be added for food flavoring to your water, to smoothies, also in baking recipes and add to stir fries or marinades and all sorts of things. The list is endless. Um, but I love adding water and lemon to my water. It's a really great detox. It helps um, just get the digestive system moving in the morning. Um, so just make sure if you are adding oils to water that you're adding them to at like it, it's a glass container or a stainless steel drink bottle, not plastic. Because like an oil like lemon, its job is to draw the toxins out of our body. Now, if we're putting it in plastic, it's going to be drawing the toxins out of the plastic and straight into your water that you're about to drink. So you don't want to be doing that. So glass or stainless steel for drinking. Um, they're also really handy. Like we've had uh, times where like at the moment, like fresh produce is very hard to, to get your hands on herbs, fresh herbs, you know, all of those kinds of things. So if we can't get any, lemon juice or lemon zest for a recipe, we can use our lemon essential oil. If there's no cilantro at the supermarket, we can use our cilantro essential oil, which is nice. So lemon, as I mentioned, you can use this in tea or water. It helps neutralize odors as well, not in drinking your water, but like just putting a couple of drops in bicarb of soda, putting it under a teenage boy's bed, gets rid of any kind of odors, um, dilute it and you can spray it in a, like for cleaning. It's really good as well. I love coupling it with On Guard for cleaning and tea tree actually as well. Tea tree is really great for mold growth and, and all the things. Um, it's also really good for studying. So coupling it with peppermint and frankincense too. Uh, then we've got Smart and Sassy. This is a blend that is behind me. I won't grab it now. But this is a blend that's really amazing for uh, supporting your digestive system. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it ha helps curb uh, sugar cravings. Um, it helps with healthy weight management as well. So I remember somebody commenting there that they uh, were looking like wanting their top concern. One of theirs was weight management and weight gain. Smart and Sassy is a really great one to really support the metabolism, but also just so you're not reaching or feeling like you need to reach for chocolate. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to starting with essential oils, there's three ways that you can get started and three ways to purchase your doTERRA essential oils. The first way is retail. I'm not really gonna spend much time on this because to be honest with you, hardly anyone buys retail because it's the most expensive way to get your oils. Um, and why would you pay retail when you can get um, a wholesale uh, price and save 25%? Um, so I won't 
bang on about that because no one will want to do it. <laughs> um, the best, the second way is to grab um, your oils at wholesale prices. So this is how you can get the oils for the same price that I do. And it's a little bit like Costco. You have a wholesale membership and then you get the 25% below retail cost every time you want to order. You don't have to order. There's no commitment to ordering a certain amount each month or a certain amount each year. You can simply just order once and um, just love the wholesale prices that you get. <clears throat> so there is like Costco membership. There is like a $35 membership. And then, um, then you can get your oils at that discounted price. Or by grabbing one of our starter packs, that membership fee is waived. And that's what most people do. They grab one of our starter packs, um, which is actually works out below wholesale price anyway. So this is where you get deep savings below the, that 25% by starting with one of the starter packs um, and it waives the membership fee, as I mentioned. So let's have a little look-see at some of the starter packs. So the first one I wanna show you is this one. This is our nature's solution pack. This is perfect for the, for the person that doesn't just want to use oils, but wants to also bring in some low tox homes into their, into their home. So switch out some, maybe some toxic uh, products that they're using and switch it over for a, a, a low tox version. So in this uh, pack, you get, uh, all the oils that we've talked about, except for wild orange, plus some extra ones in there as well. It comes with a diffuser, a beautiful wooden box that you keep your oils in. Um, and then you've got some other things like your ice blue rub. So this is a cream version of the ice blue oil. So this is a handy one to keep at the desk at work or chuck in the sports bag. Um, the men seem to like this one. It's a little bit more manly because it comes in a tube. Um, and then you've got like, like on guard hand, foaming hand soap and on guard toothpaste as well. Uh, so that's your nature solution kit. It's 635 Australian. And then this is probably where about 80% of the people that grab a starter pack, they're starting with this. And this is the home essentials kit. And so this has the top 10 essential oils. Um, and they're not just called the top 10 because they're my favourite top 10. <laughs> they're called the top 10 because these are the most versatile and most used essential oils for a whole variety of things. So we've talked about most of these oils tonight, lavender, lemon, tea tree, peppermint, frankincense is my absolute hands down favourite. Oregano is one that you cannot go past when it comes to supporting your immune system. Um, and easier digest then on guard and, and ice blue comes with the diffuser, also comes with your fractionated coconut oil. Um, really, really great. So that uh, pack there is $339. And these bottles last a long, long time. Um, I'll show you in a moment. We've also got the family essentials kit. Now this is the same oils um, as in the home essentials pack, except instead of a diffuser, you get the smart and sassy essential oil blend. So the difference between these two packs is this, um, See if you can see this. So in the family essentials kit, you're getting just the five meal bottles. Can you see my little face? Bache? Yes. Yep. So you're getting the five meal bottles in the family essentials pack. In the home essentials, you're getting the 15 meal bottles. So you're getting three times as much in the home essentials kit than what you are in the family essentials kit. So just to put it into perspective, a 15 ml bottle, you're getting approximately 250 drops of essential oil. In the 5 ml bottle, you're getting about 85 drops. So it really, when it comes to value, this is why everyone starts with the home essentials kit, because you're getting three times as much 
and you get the diffuser as well for $3.39. For some people, that's a bit of a stretch for the budget and that's fine. So the Family Essentials is still a really, really great starter pack to, to start with um, using oils and it's $184. We've also got some other different packs that I'm not really going to talk about tonight but if you'd like to know a little bit more about them I encourage you to chat to the person that invited you to this call. Um, these are more blends so this one's the emotional wellness pack. We've got the emotional aromatherapy so these are six blends, five mils. The oil sharing starter pack this is for the serious oil people. A lot of people that have yoga studios or wellness centers naturopaths want to start with this and have all the things. Uh, bedtime bliss box, really good for stress and sleeping. Seasonal essentials, really good for supporting your immune system. Uh, and the active sports wellness box, really great for people that are active, going to the gym a lot. Also people that have a lot of aches and pains. This is a really great one too. So when it comes to getting oils and getting started, there's three types of people. The first is people that just want to live the wellness style, lifestyle. They just want to use the oils, use it on themselves, use it with their family and, you know, just create more wellness by using natural products. The second type is people that want to share the products and get paid for it. So you can actually... Um, earn commission by becoming a wellness advocate. You don't necessarily have to do it as a full-time business or anything like that, but just by sharing it, even with your friends and family, you can um, get paid for that as well, which is really, really cool. And then the third type is awesome people like me <laughs> that want to build a business and actually earn an income. But also what's most important for me is making an impact on people's lives. And I've it never gets tired on me, like hearing how oils have changed people's lives, whether it's like one lady, I remember her crying one day just saying it's just been so amazing, just, just the relief that she's feeling from her anxiety. And she found that quite crippling. And then by using essential oils, she's managed to get through really, really tough days. And that just makes my job so worthwhile because this is the whole reason I wanted to uh, share this and help other people realise how simple and easy it is to use essential oils to make your life beautiful. Okay, so where to from here? It's a lot of talking, Carla. Um, basically, chat with the person that invited you to this online class. They, I know these beautiful ladies here. I'm just going to, where can I? Pull you all up here. Yes, all these beautiful people here. We've got Holly and Tammy, Susan. Um, so who, who ever invited you to this online class, get back in touch with them. These beautiful people know lots about the oils and are going to help to work with you to get you the oils that you need for your specific needs, but at the best value. So we don't want you buying a big kit with oils that you don't want or that you're not going to need or use we want to help you get them at the best at the best value and the best price so they will be your best people to talk to from here but before i do wrap up i just thought i'd ask if anyone's got any questions feel free to unmute or if anyone wants to share anything i'm open for stories as well I wait long enough until it's awkward and then then a little bit more and then then we'll see where we go who will break first <laughs> anyone anyone susan wants to i swear she's got that look in her eye just like Whoa. um all right if you don't have any questions that's completely fine um expect a message from the person that invited you 
do this class because they're going to be helping support you answer any questions by all means it doesn't mean that you have to purchase anything but it's a good place to to just ask the questions that you might not have felt comfortable doing online in this format um, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you further so Thank you so much for your time, everybody that jumped on and was with us live. And for those that are watching the recording of this, thank you for joining us also. Um, and we'll see you next time. See ya.